everybody. Now, I'm going to have a quick talk about knee pads. Um, I use these knee pads here, which are the Irwin ones. Now, they're quite expensive, but that's what these are, the Irwin Eye Gels. They're about $70 or $80, and you buy them at Bunnings or online. Now, originally, I can't use these. I can't use knee pads with this plastic on here. They're just useless. Uh, they twist my knee. They're just uncomfortable. They're too high. So what I do with these, these actually come with a uh, rocker gel, they call them, uh, on top just like that. So what I do is I cut that off. So these knee pads now are about six or eight months old. So they've only just started to wear through a little bit. Now if I can get 12 months out of a pair of knee pads, I'll be very happy. But that's what I've done, makes them a lot less low profile. We have a lot softer, um, soft to soft basically. And that's a lot better on my knees. These on the other hand, a repair that I have, but they're basically a spare pair in the truck and then I don't wear them, they're no good. Now the reason I don't wear them is as you can see that, that's just uh, very hard. So what I'm what I'm going to do, same as what I did with these, or do with these, I've been through a couple of pairs of these, they last about two years be before the Velcro starts to give way. And you can wear through that as you can see there, it's worn through. If I could find the other one I can show you dig around in here there it is there these are my most favorite knee pads in the world haven't even worn through haven't even worn through and you'll see me wearing them an awful lot but that's it look at that good as gold now the velcro is the only thing that'll give way on it so even if we get rid of this here and then we go into the pad um, we should be right now these brand are I've actually got another pair of these in my shed but these are just work zone gel knee pads radio so intended for domestic and DIY applications only useless to me but then anyway, I'm going to show you how I get around I'm just going to take my Stanley knife I'm just going to cut that off there I'm not going to cut into there I'm just going to cut the, the, the uh, cotton basically that's holding it and you'll see it will come off and that's pretty well what I did with with the Irwin ones I don't even know I've got them on most of the time the Irwin ones See it start to come off there. Now I'm just going to go in here and cut in underneath. They've got good uh, cotton on them. Good, good quality. Now, I've never opened one of these up before. I don't know what's going to be underneath it. As you can see, that's it. If you've got a pair of knee pads in your work vehicle that you don't wear because they're too uncomfortable, do that to them. Now these are so much lighter. I wish I could actually weigh them because this weighs as much as this by itself. So now I'm going to be able to use these knee pads. Now it's going to take me a while to wear through that. Trust me, it's not going to be worn out in a week. It's going to take me a year to actually wear through but that's another nice light pair just as a spare now look how soft they are rip this one here off as well I don't know what you could reuse your uh, the gel rockers for I don't know maybe to make a ninja turtle outfit who knows give it to your kids wear on their head or something. Now on my days off like this I um, I go through and I do stuff. Okay. Look at that. Maybe you can use them for um, 
when you get into a, a slug gun fight, you could use them for breast covers or maybe uh, crutch covers. <laughs> well, these are just going to go in the bin now. This is my bin. Another helpful tip from the painter.